During an appearance on the far-left CBS Sunday morning, Bruce Springsteen smeared his own fans as N-word hurling racists. Springsteen appeared with former failed President Barack Obama and heartily agreed with Obama's characterization of his fans as racists who would have called black saxophonists Clarence Clemens at knee asterisk asterisk -er if they ever caught him off stage. If I could just back up for a second. In the opening part of the clip, Obama the liar asks Springsteen, how unusual was it to have an integrated band back in the day? Are you fucking kidding me? The question itself is a lie. The history of integrated bands goes all the way back to the 1930s. There was nothing, and I mean nothing revolutionary about Springsteen's E Street Band having a black member, most especially in the 1970s. No one ever thought a thing of it. Benny Goodman, Paul Whiteman, Artie Shaw, The Jimi Hendrix Experience, The Dell Vikings, The Dead Kennedys, Thin Lizzy, Blood Sweat, and Tears, Sly and the Family Stone, Three Dog Night, The Allman Brothers, War, KC and the Sunshine Band, I Could Go On and On and On, were all integrated either permanently or at notable times throughout their history. This idea that leftists want to spread, this lie that open racism lasted past the late 60s, is absurd. The civil rights movement worked. In the 70s and 80s, and 90s, people of all races lived and worked together just fine. We hardly thought about race. It wasn't until Barack Obama came along with a campaign determined to bring back racial division that we regressed as a nation. As far as Springsteen trashing his fans, well, fuck you, Bruce. If Springsteen's fans met Clarence Clemens in a bar, the only thing the big man would have to fear is being mobbed with affection and having too many drinks bought for him. Springsteen used to slide across the stage and kiss Clemens right on the mouth. Never once, and I personally saw this happen at near a half dozen concerts, including in the South, did I hear anything but cheers. It's also worth pointing that the album that made Springsteen a superstar, and this is when albums were albums when they came in a 12-inch package where the cover art was nearly as important as the music, was Born to Run, which famously featured, on the front and back, a photo of Springsteen leaning on Clemens, leaning on, a gads. A black man. The only thing anyone thought of that album cover was how cool it was. Lastly, I read Clarence Clemens' autobiography Big Man, Real Life and Tall Tales, 2009, and don't recall anything in there about a racial or even negative encounter with an E Street fan. Granted, it's been 10 years, and I'm happy to correct this if I misremembered, but I do know Clemens held nothing back in that memoir, and it only makes sense that he ran into countless Springsteen fans over the decades, and I recall nothing about this. The very idea of Springsteen fans having a problem with Clemens' race has never, to my knowledge, been brought up ever until this sack of shit Obama said something, and his trained monkey Bruce Springsteen nodded right along. We should all file a class action suit for defamation. Man, these people are garbage. And they hate us. Oh, how Springsteen hates his fans.